subscribe to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. Like the video, if you like it, and share it to a friend. Think might need it. This video was requested by someone down in the comments, so if you have a song you would like me to do, leave it down in the comments, and I'll check it out. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. So the first thing I'm gonna show you how to play is the opening rift. So the first thing you're gonna play is four string open, third string second fret, and then you're gonna play the first string open, and then you do a hammer off from first string open to first string second fret, and then you do a pull out from first string second fret to first string open, and then you play second string third fret, and then third string second fret, and then you play fifth string open. And then you play third string, and then fourth string open, and then second string. And now you're gonna be playing fifth string, second fret, fourth string open, third string, second fret, and second string, third fret. So you're gonna play the fifth string, and then the third string, fourth string, second string. And then you're gonna play the fourth string, third string, fourth string, and then third string, and then Four string again, third string, fourth string, third string, and then you go to a sixth string, third fret. So now you're gonna be playing a G chord, which is sixth string, thir third fret, fifth string, second fret, third string open, fourth string open, third string open, second string, third fret, and fourth string, third fret. And then you're gonna play the sixth string, third string, fourth string, third string. So this is how it sounds like all together. And then you repeat it one more time. But for this part, he lets his voice carry the song, but then he emphasizes whenever he switches to different chords. So, black, my heart is pure. My hands are scarred from nights before. My hands they are falling out of all the wrong places. That's how he usually plays it. He emphasizes the switch, but everything else in the middle is a lot more quiet. That's his voice carried instead. But you could play that part if you want to. And then you go to the verse. You're gonna be playing third string, second fret, and second string, third fret. And then you're gonna play fourth string, third string. Second string, then third string, fourth string, and then third string. And then you play the fourth string, third string, fourth string, and third string again. So it's then you're gonna play the fifth fifth string open, and then third string, fourth string, and then second string. Then you're gonna go to fifth string, second fret. So now you're gonna be playing fifth string, second fret, fourth string open, third string, second fret, and second string, third fret. So after you play the fifth string, second fret, you're gonna play the third string, fourth string, and then second string. Then you're gonna play the third string, fourth string, third string. Then you're gonna play the fourth string, third string, fourth string, third string. Then you're gonna go to the G chord that you played in the intro and then you're gonna play the sixth string the third string fourth string and the third string so this is how the verse sounds like then repeat it one more time and then repeat it one more time Repeat it one more time. And now for the pre chorus, it's gonna be from G. And to play that's gonna be six string, third fret, fifth string, second fret, fourth string open, third string open, second string, third fret, and first string, third fret. And then the next chord you're gonna need is a D chord. And for that's gonna be fourth string open, third string, second fret. 2nd string 3rd fret and 1st string 2nd fret 
and then the next chord you're gonna need is an A chord and to play that's gonna be 5th string open 4th string 2nd fret 3rd string 2nd fret 2nd string 2nd fret and 1st string 2nd fret and then the next chord you're gonna need is an A sus4 and to play that it's gonna be 5th string open 4th string 2nd fret 3rd string 2nd fret 2nd string 3rd fret and 1st string open so the strumming pattern for G is gonna be down 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 up and then for D it's gonna be down 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 up and for the A chord it's gonna be down 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 up and then for the A sus4 it's gonna be down and then go back to the A chord and play that one and then go back to the G chord and play the same strumming pattern so down 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 up and then go to the D chord and play the same strumming pattern down 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 up and then go to the A chord and play down 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 up down down up so this is how the strumming pattern sounds like G down down up D down down up A down down up A sus4 A then G down down D down down up A down 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 up down down up and then you repeat the same thing again so G down down up D down down up A down down up A sus4 A G D down up down 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 up and then for the second time when you're repeating it for the last A you just strum down five times so one two three four five and then you go to the chorus and for the chorus you're gonna be playing the D chord first so for the D it's gonna be down 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 up and then you're gonna be playing the next chord which is gonna be fifth string open fourth string second fret third string second fret and second string third fret and it's gonna be the same show me pattern so down 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 up and then you're gonna move your finger from fourth string second fret to fifth string second fret so the so strumming pattern is going to be down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And then you go to the G chord and play down, up, down, up. So it's down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So down, 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 up, down, 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 up, 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 down. Then you play the D chord. Down, 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 up. And then you play the chord after that. Down, 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 up. And then go to G and play down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So this is how the first half of the chord sounds like. Baby, that's part of me. And then you repeat it all over again. You're just gonna strum once, baby. I'm so in love with it. And then you strum once more, you. And then you go to the to the lick. So this is how the whole song sounds like together. Mm-hmm. 
to see more videos like this share to a friend think might need it leave a comment down below on what story i have to see next don't forget to follow me on instagram and i'll see you next time